clear. It becomes apparent he has collided with something in mid-air. A meteor collision of such extreme force would naturally send two wrecks spiraling to the ground. But an extensive search of the area produced only one aircraft. No other wreckage was ever found. No other craft which would have presumably done this. The most bizarre thing about this is that there are these same red markings all over parts of the aircraft. These red markings have not been identified as far as I can tell. And there are a variety of places of the aircraft. The NTSB suggested that whatever it hit was this color red or had this red coating on it. And when it hit, it rubbed off on this guy's craft. They also found pieces of metal in the wings that didn't belong to the plane. Various pieces of metal were embedded in the crash plane that weren't part of that plane. So, something metal, something red. But at the end of the day, a mystery. Clearly, this is one of the rare occasions where it was a collision of the planet killed the pilot. And the FAA, the aviation authorities, and the investigations that followed could not explain it, and to this day cannot explain it. You have to wonder if this incident, which caused the death of the pilot, wasn't also some extraterrestrial incident where perhaps a flying saucer or other craft hit this plane, or the, the plane itself hit the craft. For UFO researchers, the tragic case of Thomas Prezius raises the question, is it possible that there have been other fatal collisions with UFOs that have gone unreported? Or happened before the pilot could radio air traffic control? As far as Asian astronaut theorists are concerned, it is a question worth investigating. Given the number of highly unusual encounters, pilots have started sharing with the public. And while the FAA continues to dismiss such reports, another government agency, one focused on outer space, is taking notice of possible extraterrestrial activity on the Earth. The world's most mysterious hotspot is coming to a town near you. But first, the secret of Steve Walker Ranch model tour. The ranch continues to surprise. Find out what the team is working on and how close they may be to revealing the secret of the ranch. I can't wait to see what we're going to find. Get your tickets at the secret of Steve Walker Ranch Tour.com. We're going to speak to customers. Please speak to customers. Thank you for your permission. I'm sorry. I didn't get that. Hey, is that what we said you did? Try again. Oh, buddy, come here. Come here. Oh, oh, there you go. You also need consumer stuff. Don't talk to a real person every time. This is you. Much nicer. Well, almost. Get the exact same coverage as the nation's leading carriers and 100% U.S.-based customer support starting at 20 bucks. Consumer stuff. Don't disturb a taxi. And don't do your taxes. Maybe an expert can do them for you. So you can do no taxes. At CDW, we get your team to work in different places, in different ways, and across linguistic or networks. So how do you get everyone on the same page? Microsoft Surface Devices, orchestrated by CDW. They adapt to each user and deliver multi-layered security, so your workforce gets seamless experiences wherever they roam. For devices that fit your unique workforce, trust Microsoft Surface and IT orchestration by CDW. People will really get. It's daily saving time. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? When you know what you're looking for, you pursue it. And with the demise of the pursuit for your pigment, there's no exception. It's time to have a proven choice to help explore what's yours. Dr. Mora is the first and only FDA approved prescription treatment for non segmental vitiligo. Proven to help you get next skin all the time. It's drawing what's yours. It's possible. With a sterile free cream that you can apply yourself. Also wear condoning your ability to fight infection, including TB or hepatitis B or C. Serious blood infection, skin cancer, blood clots, and blood blood 
in Zimbabwe. First, I travel to the city of Dabo, which is in the country of Togo. In Africa, when I arrived, I rented a house to stay a month in that place during the mission. At dusk, I had a vision of a witch. She was invisible and passed through the walls 